which of the following molecules that includes a central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms will be considered polar. You see we have uh, three molecules here, one central atom, so in this case, in the first one that's sulfur, and then four uh, fluorine uh, surrounding atoms. Uh, here we have a uh, carbon as a central atom. Here we have xenon as a central atom, surrounded by four fluorine atoms. So the only difference among the three is uh, in one and the three, the peripheral items are the same. They all are fluorine items. But here, the four peripheral element, uh, items, they are not the same. Two of those are hydrogen items, and two of those are chlorine items. Normally for a problem like this, so we need to uh, start with the uh, Lewis electron dot formula. But, so then, you know, so to determine the uh, molecular geometry. But since the molecular geometry is already given, so we don't need to do that part. If the peripheral atoms are identical, like in molecule 1 and 3, then the polarity is dependent upon the symmetry of the molecular geometry. If the uh, molecular geometry is symmetrical, like in xenon tetrafluoride, square planar, so that is a symmetrical geometry. So therefore, even though each xenon fluorine bond is polar, but the entire molecule is nonpolar because it's symmetrical. So we can take a look at this uh, illustration right here. That's xenon tetrafluoride, exactly the molecule we are talking about. Okay, so um, the axis positions, there are two long pairs. But when we talk about the uh, polarity, it depends on the molecular geometry, and the molecular geometry, we only concentrate on the items, which means with bonding, okay? So, therefore, also each one, each polar bond, but all of those dipole moments, they are canceled because this is a uh, symmetrical shape. So therefore, this one is nonpolar. So that is out. Now let's look at the first molecule, sulfur tetrafluoride. So the shape is a seesaw. Seesaw is not symmetrical. This is the molecular geometry for sulfur tetrafluoride. So it's a seesaw. You see, because those bonds, they are polar bonds. Those two, the dipole moments cannot be canceled because there is no, right here, you see, there's no another fluorine atom. There's no bonding. So therefore, the dipole moments cannot be canceled. That's why this one's polar. But these two, the axial positions too, yeah, they can be canceled. You see, if you uh, label that with the, you know, partial positive, partial negative. So, of course, it's a partial negative toward up and here, partial negative toward down. So, even though those two can be canceled, but the dipole moments formed from this bond cannot be canceled because there's no 
opposing、um, dipole moments on the other side. All right. So therefore, this molecule solve for tetrafluoride is polar. Okay, so this one is polar. Now let's take a look at so the second molecule. Okay, we are told that the、uh, molecular geometry is a tetrahedral, and that is a、uh, symmetrical、uh, geometry. So if all four peripheral items are identical, actually then number two is nonpolar. However, they are not identical. Okay, so they don't just have all chlorines. They don't have all hydrogen like in methane. So that's why methane is nonpolar, and then tetra. So this ah、uh, tetra chloro methane molecule. It's nonpolar, but what we have here is a dichloro methane. Only two chlorine molecules, uh, uh chlorine atoms. All right. Um, let's say, like in here, this one just have one chlorine atom, but since the polarity of the C. Cl bond is different than the CH bonds, so therefore the dipole moments in this molecule cannot be cancel each other. Well, in those identical peripheral items molecule like this, they can be cancel. That's why it's nonpolar. But in this case. Even though with a one chlorine atom, that's polar, because the overall the molecule has a polarity. And in this question right here, there are two. We can consider there's another one chlorine right here, so we can change this one to a, a chlorine atom, so a little bit larger. Okay, but still you see. So you have two chlorine, then you have two hydrogen. Again, the electronegativity between carbon hydrogen and carbon chlorine they are different. So therefore, the bond polarity of a C Cl bond and a CH bond they are not the same. If they are not the same, the symmetrical structure or geometry doesn't help. So therefore, this one is still polar. Okay. Molecule number one is polar. Molecule number two is polar. Then D is the correct answer.